Hey, welcome back. Let's do a little more practice with Onshape, making some basic parts, some practice, do some practice. So I'm going to create a document. Let's do uh, basic number three. So we'll do three basic. Say okay. And for this one, I'm going to work from the end. I'm going to work from the right side. So I'm going to click on that and say make a sketch. All right. I'm going to hide my work planes because I really don't need to see them right now and look straight on. Let's make the whole part and extrude it and then we'll cut everything out from it. Uh, we use the subtractive method for this. So for this one it's exactly one inch across by 1.25 inches tall. We're going to finish that sketch. We're going to extrude it. And it has to be extruded two inches. There we go. All right. I'm going to continue to work from the end. Uh, I want to be repetitive about this because since this is practice, we're going to do things over and over. To do some advanced geometry, um, we're going to have some tutorials later on that does that. You do it any way you want, but let's try it my way, the simple way, so it's a little bit more repetitive. Um, let's do another sketch on this end. And I'm going to make the front cutout first. That front cutout has to be 0 0.25, 0 0.25 by 1 inch. And then we're going to say extrude. What are we going to extrude? That. We're going to remove it. And we're going to say through all. Let's look at it, make sure it did what we want. There we go. Done. Next, let's do the back one. I'm going to put a sketch on this. This time I'll leave it so that we can see it isometrically. We'll start here. We'll come up like this. It looks something like that. So it needs to be 0.5, enter, and a height of 0.75. And we're then going to say, okay, extrude that as a remove. And again, let's say through all. And now it removed it all the way through. There we go. Awesome. Now we just have two holes left to do. So uh, remember, when we make a hole, I'm going to do the one in the front first. When we make a hole, has a diameter, this hole has a diameter of 0.25. Remember that you also have to locate it. So we're going to use the dimension tool and dimension it from here to the top. Make sure you get it in the right place. That's 0.25 according to the drawing. And then also from here to this edge. You have to locate both. And that distance right there, if I look at it, ooh, it's one and a half boxes. What's one and a half boxes? If you said three eighths, you are correct. And that would put it right there. I think it would be three eighths. Let's do that again. It's one and a quarter. That's a quarter. It's two eighths. It's three eighths. We got it. Nice work. Nice math. Um, hit enter. Say OK. And then let's extrude a remove. And again, let's just go through the whole thing. Choose it and say OK. There's that hole. New sketch, nothing new. Same thing on the top. Let's put a hole somewhere. It's going to go about here. And again, that's a 0.25 diameter hole. The distance from here, oops, get out of escape from my circle tool and go to my dimension tool and that distance is 0.25 and this distance is 0.25 pretty good guess huh it's located let's extrude or remove and let's do the whole thing. 
and there's basic part number three, all complete. Remember, if you have any questions, be sure to ask your teacher.